everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today we're going to make a potty pass. Nikki reached out to me on Instagram and had a suggestion for me. She says she's a teacher and she has to have potty passes for school and the kids always destroy them. And is there a way that I can make a potty pass? So I thought about it and I have this little mold. It's like a little loaf pan that I got at Walmart a while back in their baking section and I thought it was the perfect size. Now, this is a great gift for teachers. However, there's a lot of offices that have like keys to the bathrooms, like maybe a gas station. This is an opportunity to have some fun making a creative potty pass. So what I did is I went on the computer and I went into my word processing program, um, found a fun font. There's a lot of fun clip art out there too, so you can, you know, do whatever you want. Now, if I were a teacher and I had to have a potty pass, I would make it something that the kids might be a little bit embarrassed to carry around, just so that it's a little memory of me they would have forever. Does that make me a bad person? So this is my test print, just on regular paper. I have potty pass and some writing that has some flowers on there. And I put a boy and a girl. Both of them are kind of crossing their legs trying not to go to the bathroom. Now, this is just plain paper and just my test print. This was just to make sure I had the right size. But what I ended up doing is I printed it out on transparency film because I thought that would be a fun look just in the transparent. Now what you can do, as I've done with the coasters, is you can do one layer of clear and then you can Mod Podge this down and then put another layer to seal it if you want to do it on paper or if you don't have transparency film. So th those are just a couple of different options. I just went with this choice. So all you need to do is cut it out. And I did do this on a laser printer. And when you're coming up with your design, remember to measure your mold and measure the bottom because like the top of this mold is wider than the bottom. And I'm wearing gloves, obviously, because I'm working with resin, but also at this point right now, I'm using it just so that I don't get fingerprints all over everything. I've mixed two ounces of the EasyCast resin. You can use the Envirotex Light, use whichever resin you're most comfortable with. Um, this shouldn't take much more than that. It's pretty small and we don't need it to be thick. We don't need it to be a weapon. So I'm going to pour it right in here. Yeah, I think that's plenty. Then I'm going to take my lighter and run it across. Make sure I get any bubbles. And then when you're ready, you can slide this right in here. And then with your stir stick, you want to just press it down. And you want to press it down and make sure all of the bubbles are out from underneath. Then I'm going to run my lighter over it again to get any bubbles. And then you're going to want to let this sit a minimum of 12 hours. Our little potty pass has set so we can pop it right out. And I went very plain on this, but remember you could do any color, any style, um, add all kinds of clip art, all kinds of things to it. I'm going to put it right on this piece of foam just for me to drill it so I don't drill through my table. Now we have a nice hole in there. Now if you want to freak the boys out a little bit, I'm going to take some tool, run it through here, and of course you can do a girl version and a boy version of the potty pass too. But like I said, I want to go a little over the top so that they remember carrying this potty pass around forever. And remember, you can add glitter or anything to this. I have all kinds of ideas of what you can put into a potty pass. You have as many options as you do on the coasters. Now, it looks like I added glitter, but I didn't. There's a lot of glitter falling off of this tool. So here's a cute little potty pass. Now remember, you can put something white behind it. You could paint. I mean, right now you can even paint the back white and then seal it with another coat of of resin or you can leave it like this or you can even do like a layer of glitter behind there just paint on Mod Podge some glitter on there just for another look too. So I hope you like this potty pass. Tell me in the comments below what you would put in a potty pass. Now remember to check out some of my other videos and remember to subscribe if you haven't yet so you don't miss a thing. We'll see you next time and in the meantime stay safe and happy crafting.